Hello everyone and welcome to another very nice game. I was played in round 4 of the 2019 US Championship. Uh, it's a former World Chess Championship challenger Fabiano Caruana uh, versus Linier Dominguez Perez. Uh, it's a really, really an impressive game. Uh, it's a very complicated game. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Uh, and it has a lot of interesting turn of turn of events, which you'll see. Uh, and we're also going to discuss uh, the title a little bit after uh, you, you check out the game. So let's see it. Uh, Corona drew his previous three games, so now he has the white pieces, uh, and he opens with d4, uh, without further ado. Uh, we have knight to f6 by Dominguez, uh, we, so the Indian game for now. c4, e6, and here, uh, not... Uh, but if Caruana isn't interested maybe in uh, asking for for an Imzo, uh, so he goes g3, uh, the Catalan opening. Uh, we have d5 by Dominguez, bishop to g2, bishop to e7, preparing castle, uh, knight to f3, uh, both players castle, and now d captures on c4. And this is the, the, the standard line of, of the Catalan opening. Uh, queen to a4, going after the, the c4 pawn, and the black, uh, of course, will just allow white to capture it while uh, expanding his uh, queenside pawn structure. We have b5, queen to c2, and now bishop to b7. So it's a, a very nice position for both white and black. Uh, bishop to d2, developing, uh, and bishop to e4 now. Uh, uh, kicking the queen further back, queen to c1, and only now c6. Uh, a nice solid pawn structure, and now the bishop is not uh, closed on b7. Uh, we have a4 by white, uh, immediately challenging this uh, pawn, pawn advancement, black created on the queen side, knight bd7, and now knight to c3, attacking the bishop, and now the bishop switches sides, bishop to g6. So instead of keeping it on this diagonal, now black has a very nice bishop, although on this diagonal. Uh, we have knight to h4, challenging black's bishop on g6 and bishop to h5. And here, uh, the position has been reached uh, many times in, in uh, very, very strong uh, players' games. Uh, a captures on b5 is a known move in this position, also rook to e1 is a known move in this position. Uh, but here we have h3 and it's a new move and uh, already now from move 15 uh, we have a completely new game. So Caruana definitely came prepared for this game. Uh, we have knight to d5. Uh, by black uh, offering a trade of knights, but also opening up a discovery here against this knight. And here first a captures on b5. Now black doesn't have the chance to immediately capture here on h4 because you get b captures on c6. White just grabs another pawn and he will of course grab yet another piece. So once you've moved the bishop, let's say bishop f6 or, or e7, uh, you will capture the knight, queen captures and the white will just be up a pawn. And black didn't really ruin any, uh, any pawn structures on the king side. Uh, so, after a captures on b5, we have a captures on b5, rook captures, queen captures, uh, and now e4, uh, attacking the knight here. You don't want to capture here, you're just gonna uh, really improve white pawn structure. So here we have knight to b4, uh, and now bishop to g5, finally preventing this bishop from capturing on h4. Uh, and queen to d8, defending the bishop on e7. Uh, bishop captures, queen captures, and now queen to e3. Uh, just, you know, putting uh, putting the queen on a nice uh, central square, and uh, rook to d8 by black. Caruana develops the rook on c1, as the queen made the uh, room for rook on c1. Uh, knight to f8, and now comes bishop to f3, offering a trade of bishops, bishop captures, knight captures, and knight to d7. So here, a uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice position, the material is completely equal. Uh, both players with two pawn islands and, uh, well, Capablanca's, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Caruana's uh, structure in front of the king, uh, not, not as good as the one in front of uh, Dominguez uh, king. Uh, but okay, uh, king to g2 by Caruana, uh, and now uh, you might think of, think about going something like e5, I mean, if white, if white allows it, why not just push it, uh, but then white can get a very strong pass to deep on in the center, uh, so black, black is not interested in doing this. Uh, so here black plays h6, uh, he has to ruin his pawn structure a bit, but at least he will take away some important squares from white pieces. Uh, h4 by Caruana, and now knight to b6. Uh, preparing to jump to c4 to attack the queen and the b2 pawn. Uh, we have b3, now Caruana takes away the a4 and c4 squares from uh, Dominguez knight. Uh, knight back to d7, and now comes rook to d1. Now Caruana uh, is interested in uh, remaneuvering the knights, and the rook will be uh, useful here, giving further protection to the d4 pawn. Uh, we have rook to a8, uh, 
perhaps with ideas of knight to a2, with ideas of exchanging knights, and then maybe the rook can infiltrate the white's position. So first queen to e2, not allowing it. Uh, we have knight back to f6, and now knight to e5. So an excellent square for the knight. Uh, the knight is now stuck on b4 for the moment, as the knight is also pressuring the c6 pawn. Uh, we have knight to d7, hoping to trade off uh, at least one pair of knights, but Caruana isn't interested. Knight to g4, we have knight to f6. Again, Dominguez tries to trade off uh, a pair of knights. Knight to e3, uh, getting out of the way. And now comes rook to a3, uh, going after the b3 pawn. And here Caruana uh, just offers it. Uh, you could go queen b2, then rook goes back, and then we just uh, repeat moves. Uh, but here Caruana has an active plan. He goes e5. Uh, we have knight to d7, and now comes knight to e4. So Caruana offers the b3 pawn uh, in exchange uh, uh, to go for uh, for, for an attack. Uh, so here, if you capture it, then rook to a1 will be very strong, threatening the rook to, to, to infiltrate um, a black's queen side. And after you go knight b6, defending it, then knight to c5, and the white will get uh, a lot of uh, a lot of activity for the price of one pawn. So here, after knight to e4, we have knight to b6 immediately now uh, defending the uh, da8 square and also uh, the knight can now come to d5 uh, but here queen to h5 caruana again offers the pawn and here dominguez captures it we have rook captures on b3 and now knight to g4 so you can see already that caruana just puts uh, the, the pieces in front of the black king uh, a lot of uh, nice uh, attacking potential here uh, we have knight four to d5 you do have to keep an eye on the f6 square and here, rook to a1 is played. Uh, and now, the best idea for black here would have been rook to d3. Just a nice active move for a uh, square for the rook. You're pressuring the d4 pawn. Uh, but here, black played a different idea. Black played uh, rook to a3. And now, you can see the problem here. Uh, the rook is protected by the queen. The queen is on e7. But uh, the queen is somehow too busy uh, guarding the rook on a3. And also keeping an eye on the f6 square. Uh, so, how do you... Uh, how do you... Uh, continue with the white pieces here. Uh, feel free to pause the video here and try to find the the correct uh, way to continue here. Uh, I'll give you a couple of seconds as usual. Uh, for those of you who were able to do it, you are an excellent attacker of the king side. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, in the game, Ka uh, Caruana played knight captures on h6. But it seems that knight e to f6 was an even better idea. Uh, because now if you capture with the g-pawn, then the game's just over. Uh, knight captures on h6, check. King has to move. Now comes uh, rook captures on a3. Uh, and, well, either the queen will capture and then you will get this check. Uh, king captures and queen to g5, checkmate. Or, uh, if you don't, uh, after this knight to uh, after this knight to f6 check, uh, if you play uh, knight captures on f6, then you get e captures on f6, and again your queen is under attack and your rook is still under attack. So you will have to grab the pawn, g captures on f6, and now comes knight captures on f6 with check. Again, you can either capture and then allow rook captures where white would be up the exchange, or you could go king to g7, uh, but now queen to e5 will be will be so deadly. Again, you are threatening all sorts of discoveries, you are still pressuring the rook, and uh, there's not much all you can do here. You can either capture, where after a couple of exchanges, uh, white will be up the exchange, uh, or instead... Uh, after this queen to e5 move, you could go for rook captures on a1, uh, but then we have a very nice forcing checkmate sequence in 3, knight d8 check. Uh, a double check from the queen and the knight, if king to f8, then queen to h8 will be checkmate. So you'll have to go king g6, uh, h5 check, king to h7, and now queen to g7, this will be checkmate. Uh, so, uh, there's that, and uh, also... Uh, after this rook to a3, uh, Caruana played knight captures on h6. So here we have uh, pawn captures on h6 and only now knight to f6 check. Knight captures, e captures on f6, and here if you continue, let's say, queen to f8, where you want to keep an eye on the h6 pawn, but also on the rook, uh, you don't capture the rook first, because then after you capture on h6, the queen can just return to f8 and you defend checkmate. What you want to do is queen g4 check, and only after the king moves, now you capture, and now the queen can no longer capture because uh, queen 
to g7 again will be checkmate so here dominguez uh, found a nice way that he will give up the exchange uh, but in a way that he himself prefers uh, rook captures on g3 with check we have f captures on g3 and only now queen captures on f6 so at least now uh, yes he's down the exchange but he's up two pawns at least uh, you know b better than nothing uh, queen to g4 check by caruana king to h8 and now uh, rook to a6 attacking the knight here and queen to d8 you don't want to move the knight and lose the c6 pawn uh, rook to a7 going after the f7 pawn we have queen to f8 and now queen to f3 pressuring uh, the f7 pawn uh, dominguez defends it king to g8 and now queen captures on c6 uh, as it was a double attack against the f7 and c6 pawn uh, we have queen to d8 defending the knight and here uh, a very interesting position where Caruana played uh, king to h2 but there was a much better idea here uh, seems both of them missed it uh, queen to f3 uh, should should win the game for white uh, because you're again threatening queen captures on f7 which would follow up with checkmate and after black defends it let's say queen to f8 now you get queen to b7 uh, and now black can no longer defend you cannot defend the queen captures here uh, if queen defends knight then queen captures on f7 is a threat and lastly but not leastly after knight d5 rook a8 wins the queen so uh, qu queen to f3 uh, a very powerful idea for white here uh, but Caruana went king to h2 uh, and now comes queen to f6 black manages to activate the queen now uh, because uh, well of course if you capture the knight queen captures on b6 uh, then it's just queen to f2 check and uh, white will not be able uh, white will not be able to get out of all of the checks because if you try and escape king g4 then of course queen to f5 will be checkmate and you don't want to uh, end the game like this so after queen to f6 we have queen to e4 uh, by white, uh, the knight cannot be captured. Caruana missed this. Uh, and now comes queen to f2 check. Black will now force white to defend. Uh, king to h3. We have queen to f1 check. Queen to g2. And now queen to f5 check. Uh, g4 blocking. Queen to d3 check. Queen to g3. And now queen captures on d4. So for this, uh, uh, well, slight blunder, Caruana now had to offer yet another pawn. Uh, we have g5 by Caruana. Uh, h5 black of course wants to uh, close the position but now even g6 uh, Caruana wants to now open up the position we have knight to d7 uh, an excellent defensive move that uh, <clears throat> I'm sure was not easy to find as uh, both the rook and queen and the pawn are all eyeing that black king so here rook to a8 check was played king to g7 and now pawn captures opening up a discovery from the queen king captures now comes queen to g8 check king to e7 and now rook to e8 check going after the e6 pawn king d6 rook captures on e6 king to c5 uh, and queen to g5 check we have king to b4 and uh, it's uh, so amazing that black is still surviving this that uh, dominguez king is just uh, going on uh, across the entire board uh, queen captures on h5 it's important to get rid of this pawn now you will position your pieces very nicely and you will start pushing your h pawn as well uh, we have knight to c5 by black uh, rook to e7 uh, and now comes knight to d3 and here queen to f3 threatening rook to e4 which would win you the queen so king to c3 black gets the king out of the way uh, and white starts pushing h5 but black also starts pushing we have b4 uh h6 b3 we have uh h7 <laughs> pawn to b2 uh, and now comes rook to b7 just uh preventing black from queening uh we have king to d2 now preparing to play king c1 and try to promote the pawn that way queen to g2 check king to c1 and now rook to c7 check king to b1 and now queen to h1 check uh we have knight to c1 uh blocking check uh and here uh again feel free to pause the video and try to find uh, the best how, how do you continue this you have to uh, win the game of course and the position is winning for white but how do you do it uh, i'll give you a couple of seconds try to figure out it's a really complicated position so uh, you know if you can try and uh, get uh, as much time into it as possible uh, so for those of you who were able to do it congratulations you are uh, this can even be called a study so you are definitely an excellent solver of studies uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, the move you have to play is rook to f7. 
uh, this is the idea. After rook to f7, you will be able to prevent any incoming checks with queen to f3, and then when you have both the rook and the queen on the f file controlling any checks black might deliver, uh, then you will play rook to f8, uh, control the, the last rank, control h8, and then you will promote the pawn. This is the correct, the correct path to victory. Here, Caruana played queen to a8, uh, controlling the h8 square immediately with the queen, uh, but now... Uh, it simply doesn't work. Uh, here, Dominguez played queen to e3, and now we enter a long series of checks. We have king to g4, uh, queen to e6 check now, uh, king to f3, but now queen to e2 check. The knight allows the queen to check from here. King g3, we have queen to e5 check, king to h3, and now not capturing the rook. Uh, this would be very advantageous for white, as then white would be able to queen, but queen to h5 check. Uh, king g2, now comes queen e2 check, King to h1 and queen to h5 check. Now white controls this very nice diagonal from where uh, uh, the, the black queen will deliver checks. We have king to g1, queen to d1 check, uh, king to h2, now comes queen to h5 check, king g3, uh, queen to e5 check now, uh, king to g4 and queen to e6 check. Uh, king to h5, queen to f5 check, uh, king to h4, now queen to f4 check, and now you you will not be able to uh, deliver any more checks. Queen to h, king to h5, queen to f5, uh, king to h4, and after queen to f4, uh, it was in this position uh, that Fabiano Caruana and uh, Linear Dominguez Perez uh, agreed to a draw. So uh, game four in the US Championship 2019 ends with yet another draw for Fabiano Caruana. And if things weren't uh, uh, as, as bad as, as they are, missing so many winning opportunities this game, uh, Magnus Carlsen uh, additionally, you know, uh, well, we could say that he trolled him on Twitter saying that uh, Caruana's uh, not winning a streak uh, uh, in, uh, uh, passes his age. So uh, Caruana now uh, has drawn more games or he hasn't won more games than, than he has uh, years of age. Uh, which, you know, uh, after missing so many opportunities in one game, when you see that, it can be, uh, well, it, it can be somewhat salty, I, I would say. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, what happens in the chess world, you know, it's it's always hard. Uh, so I do hope you enjoyed this game. Caruana mo most likely didn't, but uh, it, it was a complicated game. Uh, especially that moment where uh, where Dominguez really tricked him, uh, <laughs> uh, where Caruana uh, was offered a knight, and of course he couldn't capture the knight, but uh, it just uh, you know it, it just wasn't his day. Uh, but yeah, yet another game Caruana did not win, uh, and. Uh, the, you know, it continues. Uh, the uh, round five is now being played, so if uh, any interesting game arises, I'll be sure, sure to show it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Mario and Sinosa, and of course, I will put a link to, to Magnus's tweet if you want to check it out. It will be the first thing to, you will see in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Uh, and yeah, uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, hopefully, with some more interesting content. Uh, thank you all, and have an excellent rest of your Sunday.